Not really, because I, uh, for, us it's, for me, it's not exactly the side I wanted to play after having played at Man United and against Paris Saint Germain on, on Wednesday night. Because they are a tricky side who can keep the ball. If you're not well organized, uh, you can be in trouble. And on top of that, uh, I, I felt we were we started well. After when uh, they equalized, we became nervous, and that's where you could see the fact that we have not had three draws, played a little bit on our mind, and at half time was down to us to calm down and focus on the game uh, we want to play in the second half. We created many many dangerous situations, and uh, but Bonus remained always uh, uh, dangerous because they can keep the ball well, they go, they attack very well. It's one of the teams who can uh, compare possession with, uh, with the top teams in the Premier League. Obviously, obviously, the, obviously, the, obviously, the, the, the game plan had changed the penalty was so good. Bushi, Bushi got the, uh, the, the, the you have a fight with uh, <laughs> together. What was, the, what was your view on the penalty? Sorry? What was your view on the penalty? <laughs> the Bushi first. Yes, thank you. <laughs> The Bushi's injury, your game plan would have changed after 15 minutes because of the Bushi situation. Uh, Gabriel playing at right back, you would never have trained with him at right back all week, so that was readjustment after your, your game plan. Yeah, I, 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 uh, when I pick the, the squad, you know, I imagine that uh, Debussy, something can happen to him because he had uh, many setbacks. And uh, I uh, put Gabriel, I, I had Cochlin who was ready to play right back as well, he can play right back, but. I've gone for Gabriel because he's more a defender and because he's very quick and uh, he adapted well. I watched uh, tapes of him playing uh, full back at Villarreal two, three times. He played left back, but I, I had uh, found only one tape of him we found uh, playing in Brazil as a right back. And uh, although I must say it was not super convincing, but I think today he did well. I was just going to ask you about the penalty. I, my view is that we should have had the penalty on Sanchez and uh, that the penalty was a very soft one. In what, in what regard? Just, just the coming together? Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. And I was really amazed that he gives a penalty. Because then it, I mean, it changed the dynamic of the game. Yeah, from that moment on, uh, uh, we became nervous and uh, they became suddenly uh, more dynamic as well going forward and we lost some balls, put ourselves in trouble. We had to calm down at half time and just focus on the game. Sanchez was so important to you for you today, quite apart from the fact that his work rate was exceptional. Sanchez, even when he looks dead, he's still alive and finds always uh, the resources to when uh, you win the ball back to do something special, you know. He has that, uh, that, uh, gut, uh, that gut uh, conditioning that uh, when the ball comes to him again, he finds always that extra gear to be dangerous. Bill, there's not many players in the Premier League like him. I mean, how important is it? And any news on the contract for him? Well, uh, uh, it, it is important. How important it is, I don't know. But uh, uh, we have uh, we will not do that tonight, and uh, we have some time in front of us, you know. He's putting a zero on with it, every performance at the moment. He's putting a zero on with every performance at the moment. Well, you like us to spend money, so you should be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Last couple. Are you fortunate with that tackle. Uh, was he fortunate with the tackle on Arta? He's got a yellow card, but it looked quite bad. I don't think it was a desire to hurt uh, Arte. He hurt him, yes, because he was late, but I don't think there was a uh, with uh, excessive force or violence. He just want, was too late to, to take the ball. He didn't want to, to injure Arte. Go ahead. Yeah, the strength of your subs bench this season must be really pleasing you because we are looking at today. Ramsey, Giroud, Iwobi, Coquelin, they're all on the subs bench compared to previous seasons. This yeah, season it's, a, it's a, as well the first time I made seven changes compared to Wednesday night, you know. 
And uh, when you go in the Premier League, I think it's a long time I haven't done that uh, to change uh, seven players, keep included, uh, to go from a Champions League game into a Premiership game. That's why I have top quality players on the bench. Last one. Arsenal, I thought uh, Granjack had an excellent game today. Would you say that was his best in an Arsenal shirt? And um, do you think he'll start more regularly from now on if he continues playing like that? Look, uh, he became better as the game went on, and in the second half, I think he did very well. We are in November. He arrived in uh, July, you know, it's normal adaptation, and uh, he gets better used to the pace of the game, to the positioning on the football pitch, and uh, I think his passing uh, uh, through the lines has uh, played a big part today, yes. And Pascal Sanchez was fantastic, wasn't it, in the second half of Pascal Sanchez? Yeah. Sanchez uh, uh, and uh, the strikers like to play with guys who play well through the lines, you know, and uh, I think the strikers uh, appreciate him. Can we, just, can we just check on Walcott? He looked like he had a, a striking on his leg. Yeah, he got a kick, but nothing major. The only worry we have is uh, Giroud. He looked a little bit to touch his hamstring, and uh, we have to see how. Uh, Big the damage is. Giroud was down at the end, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, just tell us what With a hamstring. Yeah. What did he just On say? his first movement, he told me uh, he, he felt a twitch at the, at the back of his uh, hamstring, and uh, we'll see. I hope it's not too bad because he told me after when he sprinted, he didn't feel anything. Is, is Davinci a long, long one? Long one with a hamstring, Davinci? Who? Davinci. Davinci. He thinks it's a severe one. I don't go too far. Uh, I have to speak to medical people, and uh, you can only assess it really after 48 hours. You have to let it bleed, and uh, after he has a, usually they have an MRI 48 hours later. You know when the bleeding is over to see how big the damage is. Can I, can I just quickly mention Theo? It's nice, nice to go on to you baby. Two babies, two boys, yes, yes, to run for two now, you know. <laughs> two career headed And uh, so, but, but he has to work double. Thank, Thank you. you.